You think this is a game? A story told by people? A game designed by people? Yes, I do. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Play Gorasul. I will be your host for this Let's Play. I don't have a name, but I am addicted to sulfur hexafluoride. It makes my voice sound really manly, which is appropriate, cause this game is really manly. It was made in 2001, it's an RPG, and its interface is kind of like Baldur's Gate or Planescape Torment. Obviously, you're here because you wanted to see Gorasul, so let's get up to speed with the game's story and introduction. So there's this pig-faced little baby named Rosandus. His loving and caring mother abandoned him on the doorstep of a house. A house that belonged to a dragon. Because if a dragon wants to live in a house, are you really going to argue? So the dragon looks at this pig-faced little pink flesh thing that routinely chokes on its own vomit, and he says, Awesome! I always wanted a pet human. And then he says, Why am I adopting a human? Why couldn't I hook up with a female dragon and father my own kids? Anyway, the dragon keeps Rosandus as a pet, and takes him walkies in the park every day. Then Rosandus becomes a glow stick raver. And then he gets stabbed. And then he dies. And then he's in a graveyard. The end. Welcome back. This screen may not look like much, but it's actually the main menu. Let's start a new game. This is the character creation menu. Let's play as Rosandus, because there's no other choice. He can be a warrior. A magician, a priest, scout, banisher, judge of the swords, and back to warrior. Most of these classes kind of suck. So let's be a magician. Rosandus also has stats. They are intelligence, strength, constitution, dexterity, and charisma. Magicians want some intelligence because it gives them mana. They also want some constitution, because it makes them not die. The other stats are kind of useless. Rosandus also has dragon skills. Dragon strength, dragon fear, dragon breath, and dragon eyes. Three of these only trigger when Rosandus is very badly injured, but dragon eyes are active all the time. That's why we'll put every single point into Dragon Eyes. Next we have Attack and Defense. Magicians don't attack! Let's pump defense! Next we get to customize Rosandus' talking weapon. We can choose from a long sword, a long bow, a staff, dagger, mace, battle axe, war hammer, and back to longsword. Interesting to note, the longbow has unlimited ammo, unlike ordinary longbows. But it kind of sucks. You might think a staff is a good choice for a magician. You would be wrong! It's not very good at all. The dagger is the best. The weapon has stats of its own. They are accuracy, durability, intelligence, Courage, and Ego. For a magician, you want intelligence. But because you can only put in five points here into any one stat, we'll do half intelligence and half accuracy in case I do have to fight. We also get to choose a name for our weapon. I'm going to call him Mr. Stabby. Next, we come to this screen. Unlike other games, you may select the game Emphasis. Sometimes the game likes to give you riddles. You can choose whether you like riddles or not. If you choose fight, you will have no riddles, but you'll have to fight some monsters. If you choose quest, you won't get multiple choice answers for your riddles. They will be very difficult. Combination is pretty awesome. 
As for the level of difficulty, I'm going to put it to easy because it only influences combat, and combat is boring! Let's go! Now, as you may remember, Rosandus died in the intro, so I don't really see what we- Whoa, whoa! What is going on? By the love of Ishmael, what happened? Was I dreaming? And how have I come to return to my tower? My stay in the realm of the dead was so certain, but oh, each memory is like a shard of glass in my mind. The deity Hadral gave me an audience after my death. Or did I only dream that too? I was to be sent back to the mortal world to... to what? Everything is so mixed up. I don't know anymore if I ever did. And now, noises below me and something seems to be coming up the stairs. Right, so you can move Rosandus around with the left mouse button. It's a pretty simple control scheme. You can also have him run. Down in the lower left is the party window. You also have a potions hotbar and a spell hotbar. Let's see what these buttons do. This is a quick reference. This is a more detailed character screen. This is the inventory. It's rather empty right now, but there's Mr. Stabby. Remember him? This is the spell book. We'll look at it in a second. You can also pause the game. The diary lists your quests. This button opens a mini-map. Mr. Stabby will also level up along with you. Over here you can see that he requires 50 experience points. You can also choose your formation. Obviously it's very useful when you only have Rosandis. Let's look at the spellbook again. Most of the spells in Gorasul are actually kind of useless. Many of the attack spells are very mana inefficient. My favorite attack spell, Shockstorm, is very cheap, but very effective. We're going to use it, Healing, Magic Eye, as well as Identify, and Open Locks. Now, let's participate in the time-honored tradition of running around looking for stuff to steal. Nothing in there. Lots of old stuff. Hey, a potion. And some experience points. You're not really stealing from anything here. This tower does belong to Rosandis. Luckily, nobody sold it while he was dead. This cabinet is locked, but we have a spell for that. This one can't be opened, though. This one is locked, too. Let's try again. It worked this time. Awesome. Realistically speaking, we don't actually need these potions, but this level exists to help you get used to the controls. There's a skeleton over here. Let's have a look. To what heinous means must I have resorted in order to defend good in the world? Or was I cast with a spell by evil itself, which turned me to the practice of necromancy? Leave your necromancy at home, kids. It's evil. Hey, a statue. The flickering in the demon's cauldron is unquestionably a magic being. Something makes me think it is good magic, but I can't be sure. Let's touch the flickering light, cause hey, why not? We only just started. A strange power is regenerating my mana and life energy. And we got some experience, too. So, this is a good stopping point for part one. I will see you in part two.